I put the video right on you, babe, from the gig. <laughs> How is everybody doing today? Guys, we've got our hands full today, and I want to show you underneath the skag so you can see the difference. I've cut four yards with it, okay, so you'll know. Let me try to get you down here and see if you can see the difference under that deck from the bad boy to the skag i don't even know if you guys can see that or not it's so bright out but it is an absolute mess and that's four yards so if you watched yesterday's video if you didn't you'll have to go back and look at it but bad boy stays much cleaner and i have not cleaned that deck this year yet and this deck has been cleaned at least, at least 15 times, at the least. So uh, we are going to get this one done. Probably not going to bring you a lot of footage until we get to the last yard. Like we talked about yesterday, we're, this whole week we're talking about some of the biggest mistakes we made in lawn care. Yesterday was my biggest. Now, from here on out, we're going to talk about some of the other mistakes I've made and we're going to talk about some of the mistakes you guys have sent in to me that you made and Dan LaFlame sent one in that I thought was excellent we're going to talk about that later but uh, let me get to work Miss Sarah has an appointment today at the church so we got to get done don't we honey yeah uh, she is putting the pressure on old doc so she told me she said let's get it moving and when she says it, I do it, so I'll see you guys soon. Okay, there's what it looks like after Doc does his thing. Doesn't stripe very well with the gator blades. Not up here. I know some guys can get a lot of stripes out of it. Or, well, no, we're not talking about the bad boy because that's Will Marks. But uh, they can get a lot of stripes out of the gator blades here. But, man, that looks nice. So... On to the next two, we got three left, and uh, we'll get some footage at the last one and we'll talk. So I'll see you guys in a minute. Okay, so we just got done with these two here. This little one, that just got reseeded not too long ago because they did a bunch of work. That one's looking good. And that lady uh, just came out and she said, hey, would you happen to need some yard signs? And I was like, uh, what do you got? And uh, this is what she gave me. Check it out, baby. She gave me a new Trump sign, guys. So now we have a new one for our house instead of the old, old one. We got a Bernie Moreno sign. And our new Trump van sign. So what an awesome thing. That is so sweet of her. She's like, I know you're a Republican, so uh, I've got something for you. And I was like, you are the best. So hey, let's get on to the last one, get you some footage, and we'll talk.
Okay, there it is, guys. All done. And uh, we're going to head home. I will get back to the video as soon as we get to the house and finish it up. So I will see you there. And uh, again, I want to know your mistakes in lawn care that you've made over time. I know what mine is today, so we'll talk about that. But uh, Skag did a good job today. Did a good job. Uh, I did go by uh, two yards I cut yesterday with the uh, bad boy. Man, I'm telling you, cut it the same height. That bad boy just cuts so much nicer. So anyway, I'll see you in a minute. Okay, guys, I'm going to make this video a little short because we are rushed for time. It's 2.20. We voted today. We got that done. Go Trump. And uh, my, my second biggest mistake that I ever made in lawn care, and I don't make this mistake anymore, I used to allow people to dictate my prices to me. I'll tell you what I mean. I would go up to a yard, and I'm going to tell you it was because of a lack of knowledge and a lack of knowing my plants, my pricing. I This was the first three years of my business. I would go up to a yard, and they would say, well, how much would you charge me to do this yard? And I would say, $30. And they would say, well, the last guy used to do it for $25. Now, you're all familiar with with the last guy okay me being hungry not knowing better I would immediately okay I can do it for that I remember one time a guy had 60 bags of mulch on a pallet he said how much would you charge me to put that down I had no idea and I said sir I really don't know I I couldn't figure out how I didn't know how to figure out how many yards that was that guy ended up paying me a dollar a bag 60 bucks guys I got hosed the first time I ever weeded beds because where I came from I made eight dollars and ninety cents an hour I told the guy ten bucks an hour because I thought man ten bucks I'm I'm getting paid. I'm telling you, knowledge in lawn care is everything. Now, you've got people on YouTube that'll tell you they're not cutting a yard unless they're they're getting paid $75. And then you got people on the far extreme that'll tell you, I do yards all day for $35. i am going to tell you, hogwash on that, okay? You have to know what the yards are going for in your area. I do some yards where I'm $10 more than what everybody else is paying. Okay? Per cut. Some guys are afraid to tell people $50. Um, mulch. When I do a, a typical mulch job, if let's say it's five yards, 300 feet, and some hedges. I'm walking out of there with almost a thousand dollars for the day, if not a thousand. Okay, I'm not doing it for anything less. It took me five years to learn my pricing, know my value, and know what I want to make. You have to start by knowing what your area will pay, then you have to go with what your knowledge is. You're not going to get paid top dollar for zero knowledge. Okay, it's not happening. You have to educate yourself on plants, material, and you have to come up with a percentage that you want to make off all of that stuff. And once you have the knowledge and you've done it several times, you start to learn. Okay, I got hosed on that one. I got hosed on that one. That one was a little too much. I've had several people tell me, well, you're, you're awfully high. Guess what? I know what my value is. I know what it's going to look like. Most of you have seen my previous mulch jobs from years past. I'm not a hack. 
okay my stuff looks good I'm not blowing my own horn I'm just telling you I'm good at what I do and I know that but I also know that you get paid for what you know and how good things look and I'm not going to work hard all day for somebody for a couple hundred dollars I'm not saying that that's a bad thing I'm saying I know what my value is at this point so that is the second thing I did I used to let customers dictate the pricing and I don't do that anymore and you shouldn't allow that in your business you know only you only you know what you need to make what your business needs to make what your household needs to run on nobody else can tell you that nobody so I want to hear if you guys have had a similar situation where you actually allowed the customer to dictate the pricing I would bet somewhere down the line somebody has okay I'm just gonna go out on a limb now I'm sure there's a whole slew of gurus out here that'll say I've never done that okay okay I'm the only person in the world who's done that I, I don't believe that so anyway Hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Hope you learned something from it. Um, I'm trying to use these videos as a teaching tool for you to don't make the same mistake Doc made, okay? And you don't want to go out and overcharge people to death, man. But you, and here's another thing. If this neighborhood gets a price, the wealthy neighborhood gets the same price. Do not base what your price is on the fact that someone has more or less money, okay? You will run into problems doing that. Anyway, guys, I love y'all. Hope you had a blessed day. Hope you enjoy the uh, verse. This video is going to be a little late tonight because we have so much to do, but I hope you guys have a blessed day, man. And as always... Dr. Real was in the house. Keep it real. I'll see you tomorrow. Peace.